Hello friends, uh, welcome back. In this video, uh, I'm going to show you one example of word problem that is taken from NCA uh, exam paper of 2005. 2005. Uh, uh, the standard number is 90147 and it's on algebra. So, and this question is an excellent question. <coughs> okay, so let's read the question. What does the question say? One integer is five more than twice another integer. Now, this is a key sentence. So let us break the sentence. Uh, so what does it say? One integer is five more than twice another integer. So what does that mean? So let us take an example. It's always good in algebra to make up your own example. So what are they saying? Suppose, let the number be, say, so let us think, uh, if the number is 10, the other number is 5 more than twice the other number. So, 5 more than twice this number. So, it, the other number, if one number is 10, this is not the answer, but I'm just making up, uh, just to understand what this question is telling me. If one number is 10, the other number is 10 times 2, or 2 times 10. Okay, let me write 2 times 10. Twice is twice, so that is 2 times 10, plus 5. Okay. So, using the Bedmas rule, uh, first you, we will multiply and then add. So, the other number is... 2 times 10 is 20 plus 5 is 25. So if one number is 10, the other number is 25. So I think you can think backwards. 25 is 5 more than twice of 10. Okay. So, so if one number is x, so we don't know which is this number. This is not the answer. This is only an example to explain what the first sentence means. Okay, so what have we done? So what have I done? So I said, okay, this is the information, this is how I interpreted the sentence. So if one number is x, the other number should be, or would be 2x plus 5. As I have done 2 times 10 plus 5, I have done 2 times 2x plus 5, and 2x plus 5 means 2 times x, which is this number, plus 5. Okay. okay, now let me, let us understand this sentence. The squares of these two numbers have a difference of 312. Difference means minus or take away. So let us, let us imagine these two numbers are the numbers. Okay, so, so the difference, the square of these two numbers have a difference of 312. So in this case, if 25 and 10 are the numbers, let us presume they are the number, then they, what are they saying in the second sentence? It means 25 squared, which is the bigger number. Okay, so 25 squared, take away 10 squared, is equal to whatever that number. Okay, so in this case we know, let us use the calculator. So where's my calculator? So it's 25 squared minus 10 squared. So I go 25 squared minus 10 squared. So in this case, it's 525. Okay. So here we can write, so this is 525. Okay. So if 25 or 5, sorry, if 10 and 25 are the number, the difference of the squares is 525. In this case, we don't know. This is not the answer, obviously, because you're getting 525. Okay. In this situation, the difference is 312. So how can I write that? So this is how I write. Difference of squares is 312, which implies the bigger number. This is the bigger number, and this is the smaller number. So the bigger number squared minus the smaller number squared is 312. That is... 2x plus 5 squared minus x squared is 3, 1, 2. Okay, so 2x plus 5 
times 2x plus 5 is equal to 2x, this is 2x plus 5 times 2x plus 5 minus x squared is equal to 3, 1, 2. Now I've done the simple expansion, 2x times 2x is 4x squared, then you've got 2x times 5 is 10x, then 5 times 2x is 10x, so 10x plus 10x is 20x, then you've got 5 times 5 which is 25, take away x squared is equal to 3, 1, 2. Okay, so the next step, you can factor, I'm uh, sorry, you can simplify 3x squared minus x squared gives you 3x squared, sorry, 4x squared minus x squared gives you 3x squared, then this 20x is 20x, 25 is equal to 3, 1, 2. So think what should I do in the next step? I think you can see, I, should, I'm, I want to make this a quadratic equation, okay? So what I've done is I've taken away 3, 1, 2 from both sides. So I want to I want to get a 0 here. So I've taken away 3, 1, 2 from this side. So I take away 3, 3, 1, 2 from the other side. Okay? So this will end up as 25 minus 3, 1, 2. Let me show this on a calculator. 25. 25 minus 3, 1, 2 is 287, okay? Now from here, it's, you have to factorize this. Now this is a quadratic expression. So one way of doing is, as I know this is 3x squared, I have to have a 3x here and an x here because 3x times x gives you 3x squared. Now I have to find the two factors of 287 or minus 287. The two factors of 287, when I say factors, two numbers which multiplies to give you 287 and when you add them you get uh, 20, okay? So I look at the 287, I, I can see this is divisible by you can divide 287 by 7 because 28 you can divide by 7 and 7 you can divide by 7. So let me divide 287 by 7 and see what happens. Okay, menu 1, 287 divided by 7 is 41. Okay, so in other words, you can say 41 times 7 is 287. Okay. So, how will that help me? So, can I say the two factors are, or the two numbers which multiplies to give you 287, are 41, I'm taking the big, having the bigger number as plus, okay, and the smaller number is minus. So, if you multiply these two numbers, you get this, and if you add 41 plus negative 7, no, uh, not that way. So this is okay. So let me write 41 and 7. Okay, I'll show you what I mean. So the factors, it factorizes to 41 and minus 7. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's fine. So how will I check? See, 41 times x is 41x. And three times, suppose if you expand this, okay, let me expand this. So three times x is 3x squared. Then I'm using the foil, so three times negative x is negative 21x. And 41 times x is plus 41x. And uh, 41 times negative 7, 41 times negative 7 we know is minus 287. And I hope you can see this and this are the same. Because minus 21x plus 41x will give you 20x. Okay. So now you can you have to set both of them equal to 0. So if you set this is equal to 0, I hope I'm not going into much detail one answer would be minus 41 over 3. Okay, 
and if you set this number equal to 0, x is equal to 7. So these are the two possibilities. Now there is also a quadratic formula uh, which you can use to get the answer. So the quadratic formula is this formula. So you can use to factorize this to get these two answers you can use this formula which is x is minus b this whole form okay so a is this 3 b is 20 and c is negative 287 okay so if you let me show you the steps so this is negative b so b is 20 so negative b will be minus 20 plus or minus 20 squared minus 4 times 3 times minus 287 over 2 times a which is 2 times 3. Okay. So what happens? Minus 20 remains minus 20 plus or minus 20 squared gives you 400 plus minus 3 minus 4 times 3 times minus 287 uh, would give you this. You can check that on a calculator. I'm running out of time. So let me go faster. So this is minus 20. Uh, so let me scroll it up. This two adds to three eight four four. Okay, divide by six. It's a long process, but it's a very useful formula. Okay, so minus twenty plus three eight eight four. So this uh, splits to one is this. Then you use a plus, and this is the other. Okay, so if you use plus, you get this, and if you use minus, you get this, and then. Square root of 3844, you can check on a calculator, is 62. So minus 20 plus 62 or minus 20 plus 62 over 6. Okay, let me finish it off. Uh, and then this is minus uh, 62. Uh, sorry, minus 42 over 6 gives you 7 or minus, uh, if you divide this, by 6 you'll get this that's the same thing okay now you can also get the answer on a calculator so i'll show you how to do that on a calculator if you have a graphic calculator but the question is you have to show all the working so to get the excellence grade you have to show the working but you can always check your answer that's what i'm always interested in suppose if you have a graphic calculator your a is 3 so let me write this here a is 3 okay your B is 20 and your C is 28, minus 287. I'm writing this so that I can see on a calculator. Okay. So let me open my calculator. Calculator. So you go to equations. There's a menu called equation. Uh, this is equation and this is called a quadratic. Uh, this is a polynomial of the second degree. Okay. So your A, they're asking you what's your A. So A is 3, B is 20, and C is minus 287. Okay? And then you go solve. One answer is 7, the other is minus 13.666. That is minus 41 over 3. So I think we have made some mistake here. Uh, where did we do? Hmm. Yeah, this is 41 over 3, that's right, minus 41 over 3, okay, that's perfect. So, so where did we go? So, minus 41 over 3, and uh, these are the two answers, okay? Thank you very much, see you in the next video.